Fam Review. Hey guys, World Eater here. Sorry I've been gone for so long. I've been going through some personal stuff in life, but I'm coming back and I'm hoping to come back stronger than ever. I'm going to start off with three videos a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday is going to be my schedule around 12 p.m. Uh, Central Time. So be on the lookout for those videos. If you guys can, like and subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel so I can be recommended for more people out there. That way I can get more tips and tricks out to the people that need them. Thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for your patience. I do apologize for not uploading, but let's get right to it. Today's fam review, we're going to be going over an amazing familiar that a lot of people have already used. And if you haven't, you're kind of missing out. And that's Drazig. So Drazig, one thing about Drazig is... He's honestly kind of a powerhouse. He's a little slow, but he hits pretty, pretty hard. Let's go ahead and check them out. They come with base 30% crit chance, which is amazing, especially when paired with empower chance, which he also comes with at 15%. If you take a look at their stats, they're leaning more towards the DPS role. They are quite even on speed and damage, which means they're pretty well-rounded. Uh, a lot of familiars can bait for him. Uh, he's not a problem finding a bait or a tank. He's perfectly in the middle but he is a tad bit slow compared to some of the familiars in the late game, which is why he's more early mid game. More around mid-ish early game, kind of towards uh, tier 10, because most people won't really have Grazig until around that time anyways. Um, now let's go ahead and get on with the build. For the build, I highly recommend all in power. Um, you could do dual strike. There's nothing wrong with dual strike. Uh, right now I'm on nub eater right now. Um, uh, Drazig is being used for Drenith on my main account, so I came here to show you guys uh, on Nub Eater. But if I could, I would have three in power here. Or if you can't, three dual strike is perfect. You can have speed on here, not really too recommended. You can have damage on here, not too recommended as well. But again, work with what you got. If you can get all in power, that's great. Now for the chip, I think anything involving more damage, like gain increased damage to higher your target's health percentages up to a minimum or a maximum of 6.6% is what I have. If you can get that, that's better because you're going to be nuking out damage right off the bat, pretty much empowered crits, and you're going to be pretty much full to zeroing everybody. So I would personally think this is one of the best chips, if not the best chip. For the brain, I recommend something um, when you hit, not per turn, because if you do have any dual strike or anything, you could actually proc your brain twice. So that's pretty good. I love an offensive brain. I don't think defensive brains are that great on them, on Drazig, but um, it's doable. You can do it with anybody. Uh, if I have a Drazig, I kind of prefer to have a healer on the team as well, or just have a bunch of other defensive brains on my other familiars. That's where I'll typically get my heals. Uh, usually when I take in Drazig somewhere, it's because I need the power. I don't really need the heals as much. So I personally love an offensive brain on Drazig. I have an attack enemy team only because that's kind of what I have on this account only. If I could recommend anything else, it would be attack strongest, attack weakest, or attack closest. But attack team is still great as well. Whatever gives you the most percentage is always better in my opinion because you want to be proccing that brain as much as possible. Let's go ahead and go on to the skeletal lining. For the skeletal lining, it says your first attack on an opponent. This is opponent, not on... Not on an enemy team, on an opponent has a percentage chance or a percentage increased chance to be empowered. So that's great. It adds more to your empower, which is amazing. Of course, this is a different value uh, than this empower. So this is its own little thing. But it's amazing because, again, you're trying to one hit everything. This helps with a one hit. This helps with a one hit. And of course, empower helps as well. As you can see, just by seeing this, Razik is something to be feared. They are a very, very strong familiar, and I highly recommend all starters go for Drazig if possible. If you're needing that DPS, let's say you're a tank or a bait, you're going to want Drazig. If you're a DPS, you might want Walk-On. Since you already do the damage, you can get a healer to help you out. But if you're going the tank or a bait route, I highly, highly recommend not going for Rexy, not going for uh, anything like that. You want Drazig. You're going to want to go from Omo to Drazig. Because if you waste your time on Rexy or anything else like that, or whatever, Remit, sorry, uh, not Rexy. If you waste your time on Remit, you're not going to have a good follow-up. At least with Omo, you'll have a very solid familiar that'll lead into Drazig. Let's go ahead and check out the skills. So we have a deals damage to closest enemy. Really, really cool animations. I love seeing those streaks there. 
deals damage to target enemy and yourself. Again, remember, if you have damage to yourself, it usually means amplified damage. And it's a target attack, which is very, very strong for a 1 SP. Heals target teammate. If you do need those heals, you got some right there. Another cool animation as well. Deals damage to weakest enemy. Now, this is really good for nuking out those baits. Very, very strong. If you get an attack weakest brain and you use this ability, you're going to be nuking out the baits really, really fast and very, very efficiently. And we also have a deals damage to random enemy. Now, the only reason you'd want to do this is if you really want that extra damage. I don't know if you can see here, it has the highest percentage damage. The one time I recommend doing this is if there's one familiar left and let's say it's some kind of boss familiar and you really, really need that damage, that'd be the only time you use pounce. Every other time, you're going to want to use attack and execute, nothing else. Attack, execute, because you can choose what you want. Um, you can do eliminate if you really are having problem with the bait staying alive or just being the issue, uh, but I really recommend you just use execute because you could just target the bait. It's pretty similar damage. It's only subtracting a few hundred damage for what I have here stat wise. So always do your one, your two, and if you really have to your three, and I already told you the other reasons for the other two. So eliminate is pretty useless. I would just say one, two, three, and five, ignore the fourth. But anyways, let's go and go on to the requirements. So you see here, you're going to need three Omo, 15 Demon Juice, and I'll show you where to get that right now, as well as Omo, 15 Epic Material, and 100k Gold. Now that sounds gross to a lot of new, and especially free to players, free, uh, 100k Gold is a lot. It may not seem, seem like it to some of you players, but at the beginning of the game, Gold is very precious, because you're moving up quick, you're leveling up stuff quick, so your Gold goes fast. Now, let's go ahead and check out Omo, because you need Omo to make them. Omo, which is down here, as you can see, you need six Opos, 10 Demon Juice, and five Epic Material, along with 10K Gold. Now, where do you guys find Opo, you may ask? Opo is going to be found in Uzmire. Let me go ahead and show you where that is. If we go to Quest here, you'll see it's in Morgoroth, the bottom of the little swampy tree looking thing, you click on that, right there, Uzumire. Of course, heroic to take advantage of that capture rate. Let's go ahead and show you that this is going to be tier six, so it's gonna be in the tier six area. Let's see if um, that schematic drops here. It does not drop here, okay. Just double checking. Now, you guys may be wondering, where do you get that schematic? The schematic is always gonna be dropped, no matter what difficulty, no matter what tier, in Netherworld. We can get it all the way back in tier three, normal, I believe, if we wanted. See Omo right there, and you also have Drazig? See. Drazig right there. So you can pretty much start farming this along with your demon juice. Right there's where you get demon juice, by the way. You can start farming this at tier three, the very moment you unlock world boss. Now, why is Drazig so good? Like there's plenty of other DPS familiars in the game. Why would you choose Drazig? Check this out. You can start farming at tier 3. Normal. You can do that on your own if you're just maxed out tier 3 gear. You can always come back and do this solo. It doesn't matter what tier. You know, obviously it's better to do your current tier if possible. You can farm this all the way to tier 13. To tier 13. That's a lot of time. I'm pretty sure, which is what I did on Nub Eater by the way, by the time you hit tier 13 or shortly after, you will max out at least one if you're very active about it. Not doing any other world boss when you do Bitgore pushes using your zeals um, that you get from Guild Honor and just pushing world boss like I did, you will max out a Drazig for sure by tier 13. I believe I maxed mine out at tier 12 and I started farming for Tethius uh, mid tier 13 if I'm not mistaken. So you guys can do that very easy. And as you can see here on normal, you can still get the Drazig schematic, the Demon Juice, and the Omo schematic. So this is where you're going to pretty much get everything except the Oppo. But the cool thing is, it's two different energy types. You have Zeals for everything here, and Energy for everything over here in Uzumire. So it's only two spots you got to farm. And to be honest, it's rare familiars just to make them. That's super simple. Let's take one more look real quick. You're going to see here that you are going to need six Oppos. So if you're going to have to make six Opos for one, and I believe you need three for these. Okay, so you're going to have to get a lot of Opos. To get one maxed out Drazig, you are going to have to catch 
108 Opos, I believe, just to max one Drazig out. And if you wanted to get another Drazig, it's pretty much going to have to be another 18, I believe, just to get one more Drazig in there so you can have two maxed out Drazigs. So it does sound like a lot. But again, you're starting this farm literally from tier 6. Super easy. You're starting the farm from tier 3 on everything else. This is the hardest part is the Demon Juice. The very hardest part is the Demon Juice. Do not waste your Demon Juice on any other familiars. If you're planning to make Drazic, focus Drazic. If you're planning to make um, any of these familiars, you want to focus one at a time. So you're going to be going for the Demon Juice and the Opos. And by the time, like I said, if you're going at a free-to-play steady rate, not too active, just an average play, uh, you will be maxing out your Drazic around tier 10 to tier 12. Definitely. Maybe even sooner. But again... I honestly wasn't even playing this account for too long, so I was able to max him out very, very easily without even trying, honestly. So I highly, highly recommend Drazig. That's pretty much going to be it for his review. Where do I recommend using him? Everywhere. Drazig is great in quests and PvP. If he's honestly all you have, PvP is great. He's great. He hits like a truck, especially if you get him very early on. He shines. Um, anywhere you could use him, Invasion. Um, trials, Gauntlet, you could even use him in Raid if you're really struggling and you're camping and you have enough TS for him to actually help you, you can use him in Raid. He's very, very strong. So, honestly, very good familiar. Do I recommend him? Yes, go for him. Trust me, he's worth it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, I do apologize for being gone, but I promise you, I'm back, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great one, guys. Peace.